<laughs> but I, but here, I guess here's what I mean, but not to the degree that I saw other people, right? I yeah. Mean, I, it, you know, it just wasn't a, it wasn't, I wasn't living the crazy life. Now, looking back, morally speaking, you know, Christian or biblically speaking, no, nah, yeah, I was doing a lot of, a lot of things I don't, I'm not proud to say that that I that I did, but but it it never seemed to I never seemed to kind of uh, fall so far that I or got in so much trouble kind of thing that uh, well you know in hindsight I would just owe it up to the Lord and just say thankfully um, even when I was doing stupid things He just kind of you know kept me in His grace and uh, yeah. and then and then finally did you know save me and I became a Christian while I was still in the industry and and that that changed a lot of things. It, it changed a lot of things, but I also, I also saw God just kind of steering my heart in a, in a different direction, um, you know, leading up to becoming uh-huh. a Christian and even, even right afterwards. See, I, I used to, I used to think that uh, even when I became a Christian, that be, being a Christian was just kind of one, one compartment of many in my life that were all on equal footing right so okay for instance right. after your job my job is to be an actor and make movies right and then i have you have your maybe you know i eventually got married so i had my 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 wife and then family and that's kind of on equal footing and and then you know you have your hobbies this that or and then you have your religion and it's all kind of part of the same same deal and um and right. so therefore i would make choices for film jobs not based on a moral compass or or a, a scriptural compass, but just you know, I could just say, well, it's 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 not it's not about being a Christian. It's just about my job, you know. So I could still, you know, uh, say and do things that were immoral, you know, in the movie context, yeah. because well, that's not real life. It's not me. It's just a job, you know. And and my 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 beliefs about God is a, a separate part of my life. Well, no, for anyone who is a Christian, you realize your beliefs and convictions about the Lord, they're going to be the top part of the pyramid, right? And everything else yeah. filters out under that. And it took me a while to understand that. It took me a while for my faith to grow to where I, I believe that and live that out. But once I did, so, then I start looking at all these different things that my agents were asking me to audition for. And it's like, eh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to go up for sex in the city anymore, you know? And I don't want to uh, do, uh, you know, the even... Well, I don't just, you know, anything that I just didn't agree with, biblically speaking, morally speaking, what have you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so at what point in your career um, did you feel God uh, changing your heart? It wasn't until certainly the latter part of years of my 20 plus year, you know, probably the last five is when things started to uh to change for me. And, and so what happened was, as I was saying no to more and more film and TV parts, um, I obviously I'm kind of starting to work less, you know, and, and my agents, I explained it to them. So they weren't in the dark. I said, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian. And, and so I'm making some different choices here and, and, um, and hopefully you're going to want to stand behind me, you know, and actually, to their credit, right. I was an agent for a long time, the same guy and uh, and managers. <clears throat> and to everybody's credit, they were pretty okay with it, even though they weren't Christians, you know. Um, and so, That's yeah, cool. they backed me up and and you know kept pursuing things that 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 I was about. But but at the time, I'm talking to the Lord, and I'm like, God, what is going on here, though? If you want me to have a film career, I believe that I'll have it. But at the same token, I'm noticing that that um that things are getting less and less. And, uh, and it was, it was in there. I'm married now too. I have my first child. And, um, I'm so now I'm, and I'm not a part of Hollywood anymore. I, I, I was a part of it to the degree that I worked in it. It was my job and I enjoyed doing that. We didn't do the parties anymore. That was only in my early, you know, middle twenties kind of thing. Once I think I, Got married. Right. As a lot of people, you start having family, kids. You know, your priorities change, and uh, they were changing for me. And and so as I, I kept kind of questioning, Lord, maybe it's time to get out. You know, maybe maybe I'm done. And and uh, and I thought, what what would I do? Because I <laughs> I haven't trained to do anything else. You know, I didn't go to college. 
Uh, all I've ever done has been an actor. And uh, it's funny because my wife's family's in Topeka, Kansas, and uh, and my father in law is an auctioneer. And I always loved going to auctions. I thought, hey, I'm a people person. That's you know, hanging out with people and selling. Stuff. You were ready to become an auctioneer. <laughs> So it was at that time as my faith was growing, though, um, I was getting more hooked in with ministry. All right. You, you there? Yeah, I think we're having technical difficulties yeah, over here. Drop. Yep. <laughs> um, but, but that's OK. So you were you were actually saying that um, when I lost you, you were saying that um, you have family in Topeka, Kansas, and you were thinking about becoming an auctioneer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then, like a friend of mine invited me to go, and I thought with him for just for the. Day, I thought, well, that's that's kind of a strange thing. Why why would I why would I do that? But but I felt compelled to go, and and it was the day that the Lord just uh, used to uh, to just show me that He had other plans for me, and so um, it was funny. My uh, I called up my agents and my manager. And um, I had to tell him now, you know? <laughs> and it was like, uh, it, yeah, guys, here's the deal. I'm just feeling this call. And, and it was funny because I was kind of nervous and scared about doing it. And they all said, yeah, we kind of saw that coming. <laughs> like, Seriously? <laughs> and they were great. They were supportive. And they said, hey, we're behind you and, and go do it. And uh, so I, it's funny because I started seminary. And I, I even went to the seminary folks and I said, hey, I've made my living as an actor. And they'd never had anyone come to seminary that had previously been an actor. And I said, uh, would, would you all mind if I uh, if I continue to do commercial work? Because that was the one cool thing. The Lord just increased all my commercial work uh -huh. versus TV work, which paid bills, man. And and I said, can I continue to do commercials? You know, I'm not I'm going to say I'm not going to say yes to things that would be again immoral or go against scripture or things that would be an embarrassment to the seminary or anything like that, you know, and right. they kind of thought about it, look on their face like, yeah, we've never been asked that before, but uh, okay, sure. <laughs> and so over the next four years, I did commercials because they only take like a day or two to film. And I don't think I ever missed a day of seminary for filming a commercial. And then I had friends. I, I had a friend of mine that was a director I'd worked with, and he was directing Hallmark movies. And he's like, hey, man, I got a, just like a couple of days work on this thing. Well, you want to do this while you're in school? And I said, sure, that'd be awesome. So I did a couple of Hallmark movies and, and you that's know, some sweet. other uh, Christian things. And that's that, that is living. sweet. And, you know, yeah, it, it just well, really comes to show that when you when you give your life to the Lord, uh, even though you have to turn away some things that you used to do, he will still bless you and still provide a way for you. Uh, and I think that's that's very telling in your story. So thanks. I appreciate that. And I and I couldn't agree with you more. So I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick for instance, if you like. So while I'm in seminary, I, I was still auditioning for things, you know, but again, things that were just smaller parts, not big parts. And there's a movie that I did called Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. And, and it was kind of a big movie. And, and it was with Topher Grace and, uh, and um, Josh. Uh, oh, man, I'm forgetting his name now. Du Deschamel, something like that, I think. Uh, oh, maybe that's Zoe. I'm getting my people confused now. But if you go <laughs> to Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. Um, so I went up for this part. And it was just like a one scene deal. And it's about um, this guy who uh, is a big celebrity and this girl wins a date with the big celebrity, Tad Hamilton. So he comes to her small town and I play this police officer, a sheriff. And uh, and I, I I think I had the hots for the gal. And and now there's this celebrity guy that's taking her out and stuff. And um, I see their car and I and I, I pull him over. I walk up to the car and my character sees that there's this big celebrity guy starts using all this profanity like oh my god you know and 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 just but using profanity too and um and i thought hmm i'd love to do this part but i'm not going to do all the profanity stuff and so when i went in for the audition i just changed everything because they put me on videotape right for the director the director wasn't even at the audition right and so i just said oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my gosh oh my gosh you know <laughs> making up my and guess what happened? I got the part. And I thought, oh my goodness. 
And so I call my agent and I said, okay, so here's the thing. You know, when I did the audition, I explained the whole story about, you know, not doing the profanity and somebody goes, oh, well, he goes, I don't think that's going to be a problem, but let me call. I said, well, for me, it would be, for instance, it would be a deal breaker if they tell me, no, we want you to do the script the way we've written it. And I thought here, I'm willing to say no. And, and that's, here's the key, Devin, for young actors in Hollywood, Uh the only that you have starting out in the industry is your willingness and ability to say no. Yes. Because nobody wants to say no because they want the work and they want to get their career going, et cetera. Well, I'm at the tail end of my career and I'm in seminary and I don't need the work anymore. So I'm like, yeah, just tell them no, you know, if it it doesn't work (laughs) out. we we have to have you say this other stuff, then tell them no. So my friend, my agent, Mark called him up told them the whole story and they were like, okay, uh, well, we'll have to get back to you. And I guess they talked to the director and called back and said, no, he's fine with that. I said, cool. (laughs) That's the last story is is I'm there on set. Right. So I don't talk to the producers for a while, but they keep sending me new scripts, right. As the production starts up. And I noticed that none of the stuff ever got changed in the new scripts. And so I show up on set to do my part that night. And um, and the, the assistant director hands me the script pages that we're shooting and nothing has changed. It's all the profanity stuff. And I pulled him aside and I just said, hey, just um, just so you know, part of my deal was that I wouldn't have to say the profanity stuff. You know, it was going to be, oh, my gosh, and oh, my goodness and whatever. And he kind of looked at me like, oh, this is kind of weird. OK, he said, well, I'll go talk to somebody and just make sure everything's OK. And um So he never got back to me. They walk me to the set. There's the director. And the director says, now, what you didn't, he said something about you didn't want to say these things. And I was like, oh, my goodness. It was like as if they never even talked to him, you know. And I told him, my I'm a I'm a Christian and yeah and when I did the original audition and when my agent made the deal I told him I couldn't I wasn't going to say the profanity stuff and and blah 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 and I'm like now I'm a little nervous I'm like sweating I'm like oh gosh you know I'm sure they're not going to want to deal with this here they're getting ready to shoot the scene and suddenly you know they're they're not going to get it shot the way they want and he goes oh okay good let's do it Oh, man, I'm so glad that worked out, too. I'm so glad that worked out. So, Jay, I got to ask you this, though. So your time of being a Christian in Hollywood, what was the culture like being a Christian or conservative in Hollywood? Was it was it an open thing or was it more of a uh, secret thing? Like, hey, I'm a Christian. Don't tell nobody Uh, because you don't really see a lot of Hollywood actors coming out. really <laughs> coming out, <laughs> yeah, coming out yeah, that sounded wrong right <laughs> you don't see a lot of uh, but... <laughs> jay you just threw me off it's okay uh but look you don't, you don't see a lot of actors really wearing their faith on their sleeve and that's what right it's 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 a-okay and even promoted i mean it's you know in terms of the lgbtq but yeah now now for now in Hollywood to say you're a Christian, that's like, Ooh, man. Yeah. You want to keep that under wraps, you know? Yeah. Um, You know, so here's, that's a great question, by the way. Um, Because, because Christians are kind of definitely, definitely the minority uh, in the ranks of, of Hollywood. So when I first became a Christian, it was mostly between me and my agents. I just didn't take jobs. Like I said, that that conflicted with my beliefs and my convictions so what what happened though was once i was going to seminary and i was still taking these parts and these films and commercials and stuff um at that point i didn't care who knew i was a christian and and i should have cared before but i was a i was a newer christian and yeah i i think you're right Devin. there's a, there's more christians in the industry than people think but let's just be honest. They're they're scared. They're scared. They're scared. They're scared. Out. They have a job. Yeah, if they come out, you know, saying that they're a Christian, you see, um, people, well, even political views nowadays, things are so polarized, you know. And you see very few conservatives uh, in the political realm of things in yeah. Hollywood, and 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 those that come out expressing conservative views often are are blacklisted, uh, unless you're you know, got the big enough name to carry you through somebody like John Voight, you know, yeah. James Woodsy. Uh, um, and, and there's a few others, but, uh, but, but it I does think a lot of people seem like 
conservative political views. Yeah, and yeah, you're right. And it does almost seem like liberals run Hollywood. It's that crazy. Um, but James Wood and those few people that you named, they've been very brave. They've spoken out before. And so I I'm just glad to see people like that who do come out and speak out. You know, we got to stand up for it. And, and going back to the Christian realm, of course, as a believer, we absolutely should stand up for the Lord in any context, because here's the thing, right? The, the, the whole point of being a Christian, too, is that you want to share your faith with others and see other people come come to faith. And absolutely. And does Hollywood need Christians? Absolutely. Hollywood needs Christians. And yeah, and that and that could be the thought. Some Some might say. You know, well, Hollywood is just the devil's playground and Christians shouldn't even be involved. And well, yeah, but who's going to share the gospel with those people if the Christians don't? You know, yeah, you might get slammed for it and blasted. But here's the thing. If the Lord is 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 with you, who can be against you? Exactly. you know? I mean, if the Lord wants you to have a, wants you to have a career in Hollywood and, and, and play, you know, good parts, then. He's going to create those opportunities. He's going to see your faithfulness, you know, or he says, nah, I don't want you in Hollywood. I'm going to move you somewhere else. Kind of like me, you know, yeah. and I'm going to have you go into full-time ministry. I mean, I used to think, I used to think maybe I could do ministry in Hollywood. Well, you know, maybe I could be like a, a studio chaplain. And I thought that'll last about as long as somebody <laughs> hears me you know, out of the Bible and they will be like, okay, Security, escort this guy to the front gate and he doesn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you know what, Jay, it, that leads me to my next question, because a lot of people actually want to know this. Um, was it hard for you to give up your career um, for Christ? Was it hard for you to turn away from that um, and just say, you know what, forget it. I'm done. I'm serving Christ full time. You know what? I, I would say, uh, and I don't say this pridefully at all, but but no, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard because God already started working on my own heart to change it and to give me new desires. Uh -huh. You know, do I love being an actor? Absolutely. Is it in my blood? Are you born with, you know, artistic, you know, tendencies or whatever or desires? Absolutely. You know, it's just it's something that I believe was gifted to me by the Lord. Yeah. Um, but when I saw that he wanted me to go in a different direction for ministry, at first it was like, okay, God, so what was the last 20 years about then in terms of being an actor? Oh, Devin, I've seen so many times and ways that the Lord has sh used my earlier life in ministry. I mean, even in terms of preaching a sermon, right? Oftentimes you're storytelling just like Jesus did with the parables. Yeah. And you're using stories as illustrations or you're teaching Jesus's stories, you know, yeah. and it's good. To, it's good to have energy and it's good to have enthusiasm and expressiveness and, and, yeah. and to convey biblical truths. And so uh, even in the pulpit, I find that I'm using some of those abilities, it, not in a untruthful way. Um, you know, it's, it's very true because it's yeah. coming from my heart, but, and then also dealing with people because as a pastor too, you're dealing with people and you're dealing with broken people because we're all broken people. Well, as an actor, what do you do? You study people, you yeah. study people, learn what makes them tick, you know, and how they work and how they think and how they, absolutely. Um, you know, oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, so that, oh, and, and, Lord, and, so and, and you know what? It's inspirational too. It's very inspirational for the youth and uh, those people who you are using your talents to tell Christ stories to. There you go. <laughs> and and then and then on on top of that, so in in a will where we live, I've gotten involved with theater, you know, and so um, in a secular sense, but but uh, but I use it as Pastor Jay. Also, I I direct community plays. In which I've gone uh -huh. into the school and I've taught kids acting, and uh, and done plays with them, and um, and then then I still get some calls every now and again to do like a Christian movie. Um, and, and so that's great. So, I, so I'm, I still have yeah. these, uh, different ways that the Lord is allowing me to, to use those creative, uh, creative juices. What, what was one of your most recent movies that you did? So what the, the, what I've been doing is a friend of mine actually runs the film department, the film school at the master's university in, uh, Santa Clarita, California. Uh -huh. And as 
Matt Green. And, um, and, and so I went to the master's seminary and I got uh, one kid that graduated the, the university and two others that are in it. In fact, my son, Will, is a part of the film, uh, the, the film course there. And so what they do is they do a lot of student films um, in, in the course of the, their study. But what my friend Matt likes to do is he's, he's done all kinds of filmmaking, um, Christian and secular, secular. And so what he likes to do is he likes to put working professionals in with the students, both on the crew as well as in the acting realm, mm -hmm. so that the students have the experience of working with professional people. And so it takes it, just elevates it, everything, that, you know, to a is, different ball game. Yeah. So that's what. Jay, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here. Okay, I think the phone messed up. But um, so what um, is it okay for a phone?